Okay, vertical and horizontal shifts. And if you'll notice, I want to talk about this. Vertical shifts upwards are going to have the function with a value like a constant term that's positive that vertically shifts. So that if you take a regular function, you're just adding to it, so that makes the y value go up. So change the x value. Same thing for a downward one, the c value will be negative. That makes it go up or down. However, when you have a horizontal deal, it's what I call a horizontal liar. So I picture Julia Roberts here, horizontal liar. Instead of moving to, you think you see negatives, you think, oh, it goes left. No, it's going to go right. It's the opposite. And the same thing here. So if I see a positive one, I'm thinking, oh, it's going to go right. No, it goes left. It goes left. So here's what we're talking about. So here's our cubic graph. There's our parent cubic graph. Our parent cubic graph here on all of these. And this first one, I'm going to minus one. Well, notice whatever I put in for x, like if I get zero here, zero times zero times zero times zero is still zero. But then I minus one, it's just going to be the zero point down one. Every point's just going to move down one. So the graph will look exactly the same, just shifted down one. This one up here, see this minus one? Well, think about this here. If I put a zero times zero times zero, zero. If I put a one here, one minus zero, one minus one's one, which gives me the zero, zero, zero. So when I put a one here, that's actually when I get the same answer, zero. So you think it's going to move left to negative one, but it actually move right to positive one. Hence the horizontal liar. So this time we're going to have two things happen. Well, I see this positive two, so I know it's not going to move right two. It's going to move left two, my horizontal liar, and it's going to go up one. So the graph moved two to the left and up one. Those are our horizontal and vertical shifts of a cubic function.